we've been working to evaluate the use of plume stop liquid activated carbon for the containment of PFAS contamination. And we've been doing this both through sorption studies and batch studies in the laboratory and also through some modeling work where we can try and predict the longevity of a typical plume stop dose um, for containing this type of a contaminant plume. So the R&D team at Regensis has recently been conducting various experiments to look at the sorptive capacity for containing PFAS contamination and also how we can use that to predict how long we're going to contain these plumes through some modeling studies. PFAS contamination ends up being very, very large and dilute plumes, making it very difficult to ever treat the entire plume. And so what PlumeStop offers is a way to inject activated carbon in situ, create a barrier that's going to allow for containment of those plumes and prevention of those plumes from magnifying. It may be useful for protecting sensitive receptors within a large plume where the entire plume maybe cannot be treated. I look forward to seeing you at the NGWA conference in August where I'll speak to you about this use of PlumeStop for PFAS containment.